What's up, Parmaniacs? Paul Stasis here, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, I had planned on doing a uh, big Emmy episode today where I was going to show you guys how to set the Emmy crafting system, and we were going to get that rocking and rolling. The problem that we've run into is quartz, specifically Certus quartz. Uh, Certus quartz is one of those things that we need a ridiculous amount of to do this mod um, and we just don't have any. Uh, nether quartz is easy to get, um, silicone is easy to get, basically everything else in that mod is easy to get, but Certus quartz for whatever reason is a rare ore. Uh, it only spawns I believe between 15 and 64. Um, anywhere below 15, anywhere above 64 it doesn't spawn unless you're using some kind of lucky ore generation, which we are not using. Um, so, you know, it's kind of Trying to figure out how we were going to go about doing this. As you can see, I've screwed up and broken my dark craft hammer. I had planned on going and uh, just mining a ridiculous amount. The problem with dark craft is, uh, it, you know, it, it does mine incredibly quickly. And I love it for that. Uh, the problem runs into the fact that it also breaks very quickly. And even with unbreaking and repair on it, uh, you're still going to burn through just a ridiculous amount of... Uh, of durability and if you know you're kind of zoning out watching a movie while you're mining like I was you look down and you just broke your thing and then you get really mad and you rage so I was trying to figure out you know how am I gonna do this you know obviously my quarry is gonna pull it but it's just gonna take so freaking long for the quarry to work and then you know I kind of got to looking around at some other ideas and somebody mentioned a turtle now turtles are part of computer craft for those of you guys who are not familiar uh, they are automated machines that uh, that do some of the mining process for you. And by some, I mean they can do it all. Uh, the problem with mining turtles is you have to know or you have to be willing to learn Lua code. And Lua code, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just, you know, you, you, you got to put the time into it to learn. So it's, it's, it's kind of kind of complicated i mean it's it's not real complicated as far as the programming languages go it's pretty damn easy but um you know if you're a if you're a redneck like myself you know you don't really have time for all that coding and shit so obviously i found somebody else's uh, code um let me show you guys that real quick you guys will be able to see this let me find it if i can find right here this is the post uh, i will link this post in the video description below this is austin kk's um code this is it right here and I will, uh, I will be showing you guys basically how this thing works. And this is kind of an ingenious little idea. Um, this is an old code, though. There may actually be better codes now. Um, his method utilizes, um, I think it was 2012, so it was last year. Um, you know, I mean, which which isn't too terribly old. It's, I mean, it's, it's getting about a year old now. So, I mean, it, it kind of is, I guess. Uh, but, you know, computer craft has probably come a long way since then. There's possibly some new features that uh, could be utilized. Um, so, you know, if you have a better program, feel free to link it in the comment section below and I'll take a look. Okay, so we're going to make uh, six of these mining turtles to do this. Uh, and then we're going to have each of them do an 8x8 plot. So that, that's going to be a ridiculous amount of stuff. All right, so we've already got the chests. Uh, I've got plenty of iron. We need the computer itself, which is pretty simple. So that's it right there. We've got enough for four. Uh, we need more uh, actual stone, which is what we were making up here. And yes, this costs a lot of diamonds. I'm sure some of you are kicking me, you know, mentally because of all of the uh, all the diamonds I just burned. But these guys will each pull in more diamonds than we just burned. So I'm I'm not too worried about that. Not worried about that at all. Okay, let's go back here to the mining turtle. And go back to the computer and we've already got four so I only need two more so that'll give us six I'm not gonna make any more than that I, I, I technically could but six will be sufficient uh, now there's three different types of turtles uh, there's the basic turtle there is the wireless mining turtles and then there are the crafty mining turtles uh, wireless I believe are capable of receiving signals remotely so like you have like a central hub or something like that and you can alter the codes there um crafty mining turtles simply have a crafting terminal built into them we don't need those we're just going to go with the default setup i don't think i'm gonna have enough iron for that let's cycle that out there we go 
All right, so we're gonna pop those, that's six. We'll do that. Now we've got six of those, why didn't that work? There's six turtles, six turtles. Really, you're gonna make me place them in one by one, seriously? I freaking hate you sometimes. I don't know why it hates me so much, but apparently it does. Uh, there we go. Okay, so how this program basically works, and this is why we're using it, as I, I thought it was kind of unique. Uh, we're also going to be going into a Mistcraft age that I haven't really utilized much. It was our first age that we went into. Before we go in here, I want to drop a lot of stuff. Now, this uh, this system we're using right here is actually 10% faster than a quarry on a 1x1. One one. Uh, I would assume it's probably exponentially faster than that on uh, more setups, because as you add more and more, uh, what do you call them? more to more rows I think that speed would just get better and better and better uh, but I know it's at least 10% faster than quarry uh, we're also going to be doing a much smaller area and we're going to be doing uh, in bulk which will kind of speed things up as well all right so age 44 here this is my uh, this is where we got some of our uh, bees that we were looking for I forget which one uh, this right here is where I tested it the first time um, but we're gonna get we're gonna get some distance and I need to stay relatively close to this because I don't want to forget where this is okay you know what we're just gonna do it we're just gonna do it right here let me mark this as my exit real fast if I can remember how exit oh shit no don't kill me no don't kill me no no fuck stupid spider god just try to dig bro okay we're gonna set one up. Um, oh, I guess right here will work. All right, so when you set this thing up, let's clear this out. We're gonna drop him here. You can see he's facing this direction. We're gonna put a chest here. We're gonna put a chest here. And I just realized we don't have any coal. So we're gonna need to go get some coal real quick. Oh, wow. That's an old, you, I, remember I told you this was one of my first ones. I kind of let you know how long ago that was. Okay, we have any more coal anywhere? Come on. There's some. There we go. We're gonna have to go mine some more coal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm probably gonna be giving each of these two stacks of coal. Ah, there we go. Yay. Okay, we're good. Oh, shit. I'm trying not to kill myself here. All right, back through. Okay, so we've got chest one, we got chest two. All right, so once you, what you wanna do is you wanna open up the turtle and you're gonna paste this code in right here. Uh, now I'm gonna go over this code with you real quick. Uh, it's ROM slash program slash HTTP slash pastebin. Basically what that's telling the program is to look at pastebin. I want you to download something. You type get, which means get, uh, I mean, grab this program. 3MKE capital UZBY is the paste bin for the code. And then or quarry, whoops, is what I want to call it. Not quite sure where there's two Y's there. There we go. And then you press enter. You can see it's connect. Ah, stupid! Note to self. Trying to do this in a very, very hostile world is hard. All right, so you can see it's downloaded or core. <laughs> All right, well, apparently that Y just looked like it was there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and repaste and re-download it. There we go. So now I can do deer again. Now we have or core and or quarry too. All right, so you wanna type in or quarry. And then right here, this is the size of the hole you want. Um, you know, do you want it to be seven by seven, eight by eight, nine by nine, 10 by 10. Uh, and actual, we're gonna do, we're gonna do 10. We're gonna do 10 by 10 holes. And then the height. Now, this is the tricky part for some of us. Uh, you can see over there on REI's minimap where it says I'm at 73 right now. Well, if we hit F3, you can see over here, actually it's not 73, it says 69. So if you come over here, you can see where the Y, the Y is actually at 68. 69 is where my eyes are at, 68 is where my feet are at. Since the turtle is on the ground, 68 is his feet, that's where we want him to be. So you need to tell him that he is at 68. Just to verify that one more time. Yep. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit enter. Uh, oh, actually there's one more one more thing I need to show you guys. Um, you have to give him stuff to 
forget about. Basically stuff you don't want him mining. So, let me grab some of that stone. Remember that stone we were making? Make sure you don't put cobblestone on, because cobblestone is not actually what's there. Uh, cobblestone is the end product once it's mined. It is not the beginning product. All right, so now we got some stone. And this is basically the, the white list, the stuff that you want the, the turtle to ignore. It's like, all right, turtle, you're going to find this stuff in the world. I don't want you mining this stuff. This stuff is not the things that we want to keep, so get rid of it. All right, so you want to put your fuel down here. Uh, alternatively, you can put a chest here. Uh, if you put a chest there, when he comes across the chest in his mining, he will empty the chest as opposed to breaking it, which means he'll actually loot the chest. Uh, alternatively, he's just going to break it and not loot the stuff, and you don't really want that because uh, you're going to lose all those items. All right, so we're going to put one stone there, we're going to put one gravel there, and we're going to put one dirt here. So this right here is the list of stuff that we don't want him mining. Everything else he'll mine. So we need to type it in again. So or cool, whoops, or quarry. We're going to do 10, and we're at 68, I believe, right? Come on, yes, or Cory 68. All right, we're gonna hit enter. And you're gonna see he's gonna start at mining layer six. Now mining layer six is a little low, on all honesty. Um, he could start drastically higher than that and work his way down. But uh, since he starts from the bottom and works his way up, he gets to the goodies first, which will be kind of nice to replace the diamonds I just spent, but not quite so nice for the, um, what do you call it? The quartz that we want. Now, I need to follow him down slowly. Uh, what he's doing right now is just burrowing down to layer six. Now, since we're on FTB and we're not in uh, vanilla uh, Minecraft, the bedrock layer is flat. This program is actually designed, whoa, I hit space too many times, or shift. I hate that. No, do not put sticky keys on. Uh, because we're not on vanilla Minecraft and we're in Tech It, uh, it does not, it, it doesn't, we, we have flat bedrock. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drill this little hole here. And you can see what he's done is he's moved out. Now we're on six with our, with our eyes. And he's going to mine this whole layer out. Now he's going to pull everything above him and below him that is on his list of good things to grab. Uh, if it's not on his list, he's going to pass it. So you can see he's passing all of this cobble right here. But uh, if you look, well, he'll get around to it here in a second. If there's something good above him, he'll mine it. So what that basically means, if, if you've ever done branch mining, this is kind of utilizing branch mining in a quarry state. So uh, see right there, he dug those holes out below him. This means he's not going to have to dig down into that layer to chew it up. He's also going to dig the top layer here, which means he doesn't have to dig this one. So here in a minute, once he clears this entire layer up, he's going to go up not one floor, not two floors, but three floors. And he's going to mine this floor out here. And then he'll take from the bottom and he'll take from the top. And this allows him to only clear every third floor and allows him to drastically speed this process up. So while Akori is going to mine every single freaking thing all the way down, this is going to be a little bit more selective about it. So, you know, there's probably some other methods that might be a little bit more fast. Um, there may be even some better codes that you can use. But this is what I'm going to use to try and fix my, my stock. Now, we did give him a stack of coal. So when he runs out of fuel, um, or out of space, he's going to come back up here and he's going to fill both of these back up with stuff and then he's gonna go right back down and start where he left off now when he comes back up I'm gonna also try and tag him so that I can get him uh, some more I, I want to give each one of them two stacks of coal to get him started uh, so we're gonna set up another one we're gonna set it up um, right here so I think I think that's far enough so we'll set him here I need to make sure we're 10 over so this is 71 Oh, no. This is wrong axis. Okay, we're at 244. And this is 257. So we're a little bit overlapped. Uh, or not overlapped, the opposite. There's going to be a little bit of a gap between us, but that's, that's okay. 
All right, so we want to do deer, see if he's got it. He doesn't have it. We're going to have to get him to re-download. He really re-downloads the Cori program. So we're going to do or Cori 10. And what's our height here? Our height here is... Oh my god, dart. We're at 71. So we want him to go at 71. So there we go. And we'll... Oh, he doesn't have any noise blocks. I forgot. There we go. Dirt. There's your noise blocks. There's your fuel. Let's try that again. There we go. And we just put another stack. So now he's got plenty of coal to keep him going. And he's going to dig down as well. All right. Um, let's go over 10 more blocks. So we're right here. That's a 244. So we want to be over here at 234. So we'll do two. We'll do right about here. Put these out. We're just going to drop him here. We're going to put a chest there. Chest there. We're going to do the paste. Then ore, quarry. Actually, I don't have any... I don't have any gravel. We're going to need to get some gravel real quick. Give me a gravel. I'm out of creative. Damn it. Throw those away. There we go. That way, those of you guys who were screaming at me saying I was cheating, I just threw away the two core, uh, the two extra turtles that we would have gotten from this one and the other one. So don't yell at me, bro. Don't yell at me. All right, so we are at 71 again. Uh, did I already send him down? Oh, no, different one. There we go. All right, so we got noise block, noise block, noise block, stack of coal, Hitting enter. There we go. And he's going to go. So we got three more to do here. So now I'm going to move this. Uh, we're going to go. We're at uh, what? 73? No, sorry. 70? So we need to go over here to 80. Oh, we're going down. So we need to go to uh, 59. We'll go to right. Yeah, right about here. Pop him there. Bam, bam. And same thing. And I know this is kind of repetitive, but the cool thing about this is it's going to mine a rather large area. Um, I'm not going to have to use much juice to do this. Um, both of these guys, well, I guess all of these guys, are going to pull in enough weight to restock everything that we've pulled up. So I don't have to worry about them. I don't have to worry about them costing me anything. There we go. Put the fuel in. It's basically free. Other than, of course, you know, the base cost. I mean, obviously the base cost is going to cost me something. But it, it should be kind of cool. So, uh, let's see if our first turtle has come back up from the ground yet. Oh, he's just arrived. Let's give him some more. There we go. Give him some of that. He's got fuel. And he's going back down. So what did he bring us? He brought us 16 uh, iron, 18 redstone, 2 lead ore, and sadly, no diamonds and I just want to drop down real quick so you guys that may have missed it previously can see how he's mining he moves pretty fucking quick too oh sticky key. I hate that shit freaking hate that shit sorry guys really sorry all right so you can see this is where he started this is the bottom floor he cleared one row he mined up and down then he went up two rows Cleared this one, top and bottom. And then he's now up two more rows. And he'll be right here. There he is. And he's going to be clearing this one out and doing the same. So it's basically the inverse of branch mining. Instead of mining you know, horizontally, he's mining vertically with branch mining. Same general theory. Same general idea. Uh, but a hell of a lot quicker. So this will hopefully get us some freaking... Um, quartz, I'm hoping. Uh, I gotta set up the other two quarries, or the other two turtles real quick. Uh, I'm gonna do those real fast off camera, and then hopefully uh, by the time we get to the next video, we're gonna have a decent amount of minerals. If not, well, I've got six turtles, and I'm just gonna turtle my ass off until one of these little bastards pays out, so... Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you like this idea? Do you not like this idea? Do you think it's wasteful? Let me know in the comment section below. 
I will have the link to the thread where I found this program along with all the other information that you need should you wish to do this yourself. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.